Can't stop. Family shop. Think Bayer. Come on, let's get rolling. Come on, let's get moving. Think Bayer. Winning is better than losing. So, uh, you know, uh, proud of the kids. Uh, it was a great way to, to find a way to win. Um, we, we definitely are a, a, a young football team. We've got a lot of a lot of room to grow in a lot of areas. But at the end of the day, uh, uh, we've got enough guys that have been around enough that, that, that helped us pull that thing out uh, yesterday. Um, or excuse me, Saturday. You know, when uh, you, know, you, you talk to, to kids, you try to to get them to know and understand that if you let a team, you know, stay around long enough, that that that, that oh, uh, they're going to get more confident, and the next thing you know, you're going to end up in a dog fight. Um, hats off to North Dakota and their staff, and, and continuing to stick with their game plan uh, and, and and not panic, uh, you know. And as far as uh, our ball club goes, we we've got to learn from this because um, we did have some uh, matchups that we felt like that uh, you know we could take advantage of. We were able to do that. We had the opportunity to possibly go up to 17, 21 points uh, on a missed field goal. Uh, and then uh, kind of the wheels came off, and really for no reason other than our own. Um, uh, and again, if we're, we're going to be the ball club that we want to be, those those things can happen. Um, uh, they're, they're a scrappy bunch. They're a good bunch. But really, to be honest with you, that game should have been 28, 3, 35, nothing at halftime. And then it's a completely different game in the second half because they're trying to catch up. And we're able to go put our ears back. And Gus had a big ball game late. We might end up with five, six sacks. Uh, you know, and we've got to learn from that, and we got to get better. So, uh, looking forward to this week's challenge. Um, I think it's uh, Middle Tennessee is a talented ball club. Uh, you know, they, they return a lot of kids from from the team that uh, went and played Western Michigan and played them tough in that Bahamas Bowl. I think it was. Uh, I think we match up kind of. We're, we're real similar. Uh, I think uh, it's kind of. You know, it's going to be one of those games that who who, uh, who has the ball last and who makes the fewest mistakes. So with that, uh, I'll take any questions. Are, are you guys a little further off than what maybe you anticipated coming into this season? Well, um, yeah, I guess that you didn't you don't realize, uh, you know, from a from a skill, from a talent standpoint, I think these kids, I think we have the kids that can get it done. I truly do. But uh, um, you've got to get those game reps, and, and there's nothing, you know, there's nothing that's not there's nothing that you can do about that other than get out there and get it done. Um, so, uh, where my expect little expectations probably a little skewed, possibly, uh, but uh, it's not uh, it's not where you start; it's where you finish. And at the end of the day, um, our goal is, is to win the East and, and to win the MAC championship. And um, you know, I, I believe in my all, my heart; I know that those things are all attainable. What have you learned about this team in the first two weeks? Well, number one, uh, you know, we we've got a great core group of leaders because. Uh, uh, if you look at, uh, you know, what happened down in, in the horseshoe in week one, and then you get yourself in a situation uh, like we were in that fourth quarter in uh, the game against North Dakota, uh, they could have tanked it. And they found a way to get a stop and make a play. So, uh, uh, like I said, great win and, and something to build on. Is there some frustration with within you guys because you have, you weren't able to put a team away that you guys clearly were better than? No, no doubt, no doubt. We want to play better. You know what I mean, and we want to make those plays, and and they see it, and they get it, and they uh, and I'll be quite frank with you, I don't think anybody was over excited after the game. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, first win for Coach Jinks, yeah, great, but uh, I think if you were asked those kids, uh, man, uh, you know, on, on an individual basis, uh, they'll tell you that they, you know, to them, you know, I won't say it felt like a loss, but they felt like that we've got a long way to go. And uh, how much are you looking to this game to kind of uh, turn things around? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. Like I said, it's, it's, it'll, it'll be a great gauge of where we are. Uh, I think the next couple of weeks we'll, you know, we'll find out a lot about this football team and, and what we're going to be or what we can be uh, in this 16th season. Um, so, yeah, we're excited about it. We're excited about the challenge, and I look forward to seeing our kids step up. Because we're close, man. It's a couple plays here and there. I mean, we've, we've you know, we, we've got uh, – you know, we've got guys running open in instances, and we've just got to we got to finish those plays off. Is there a level of concern with uh, James Kanapke? Uh, no, I wouldn't say a level of concern because uh, you know he's a competitor. You know what I mean? It's the same thing with James. Okay, yeah, James is a, what fifth year senior. Yeah, but he's had a whole year, guys. 
uh, you know, it's hard to come step right, right back in there and, and, and being, and it is a similar system, but it is a different system. I mean, the trail routes and some of the things that, that uh, we've had some issues with, the, the ball, the pick that he threw uh, 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 to Ronnie, you know, that, that, that's timing. And that, that's, that comes down to that, that quarterback and that receiver being on the same page and, and running that route over and over. And that's a, con that's a concept they hadn't done yet. You know, so again, I don't see that. I, I bet you they don't. He doesn't make the same mistake again, and you know, uh, um, you know, chose to take him out there for a series and, and told him he was going to go right back in. But uh, um, the thing that I liked the most was the very next. I think he went right back in that next series. It was the most two minute, maybe two fifty left, uh, two minute situation, kind of, sort of, more or less. And I think he went down and he put seven on the board. So uh, he's a competitor. He didn't like it. Uh, by any means, but I didn't like the mistakes he made either. So, uh, so uh, you know, he, I've got all the faith in the world, and, and that's just kind of me, you know what I mean? And, you know, like, like I told you guys at that press conference, you know, the other kid had done a great job in, uh, in his preparation, and, and if, if I feel like we need, we need a shot and arm here and there, that may be something that we do. But, uh, but no, James Kanapke is our starting quarterback, and we've got that utmost confidence in him. When you pull your starting quarterback, do you want to see him a little angry, though? I do. I do, I do, I, 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 he wasn't happy. Uh, but like I said, he responded the way, uh, he's lucky I didn't pull his butt again in the second half, I threw a pick, open it up to drive. But uh, you know, he's our guy, and, and as coaches, we know it. It's just every once in a while, it's good to take a quarterback that, that's not seeing it and set him down and let him see it from the side. So uh, uh, we've got, like I said, we've got the utmost confidence in him. Will you, if you make a switch this coming week, will it be, uh, it, and I correct me if I'm wrong. This one was more of a gut feel than by design. You didn't correct. pick no, that moment to no. make the change. No, no. I mean, do no. you think that you will have one? This is James' show. Okay. This is this, this 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 is his football team now. But but at the same time, you know, this this, this we run as a quarterback runs, and if, if the things that, that he's not seeing, or, or and there goes there's a lot of things that go into that. There's, there's run checks. There's not putting the guys in motion. There's there's messing up your calls on option routes and things of that nature. If we're making those kind of mental mistakes, then we may sit them down and say, hey, man, take a look at it. This is what's happening out there. And, uh, you know, and, and as far as James Morgan goes, you know, uh, what I told him is you, you, you have a shot, you know, and what you got to do is you got to continue to prepare. And, and if you ever do get back in there, maybe not take you out. You know, and that's just kind of, that's kind of the approach. That's what we told both those kids. Where do you start with your scheme for this team, Coach? Look at their numbers last week against SEC team. Mm -hmm. Good numbers, 500 yeah, yards, 400 what's the, the uh, Offense control of the ball, defense. What's, what's, what's the uh, kid's name? Uh, Stock still, coach's kid, quarterback, sophomore, good player. They got 400, 400 plus yards, lefty. Uh, not, not a real tall kid, probably 5'10 and a half, 5'11. Understands the game. Um, you know, they've got a receiver that was a freshman All-American, uh, Richie, I think it's Richie James. Uh, number three, I think he had 14, 15 catches. Uh, going to be kind of where, one of those where's Waldo situations. We got to find him. You know, we got to find him, and we got to make sure that we do a good job of taking him out of the game. Uh, you know, unfortunately for them, you know, they've had a few injuries. Uh, you know, at the receiving core over the, uh, throughout the summer and, and, and over the last few weeks. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to focus on Richie a little bit. And, limit his touches because he's really good. I mean, he's, he's, he's a next level kid. So you don't really stop a guy like that. And, uh, you know, you just kind of contain him and don't let him, uh, don't let him beat you. So yes, they are explosive offensively. Uh, they're, they're, you know, they're going to be spraying it all over the place. And uh, it ought to be a fun day at the door. Defensively, um, up front, uh, you know, they're a four down team. You know, it, schematically it fits what we do. You know, but so did Ohio State. Um, you know, you know. So I really don't. You really don't know. What, what I do know is, where you watch that Ohio State film. We had guys running open. We had guys running open yesterday. So we'll have our chances. I expect it to be a. Expect it to be a lot of fun, man. I, I really do. Uh, I, again, you got a, you got a bowl caliber team coming. You know, coming into the Doit. Uh, what is it, high noon, twelve o'clock kickoff. Uh, weather's supposed to be great. So uh, looking forward to it. And I, I mean, it's, I mean it's, we need to put. We played a quarter and a half last week. No, let's, we're going to have to play three, four quarters to win this thing. So that'll be our approach. Do you feel like when you play a team that kind of mirrors what you do, that there's a possibility that 
a rhythm could happen, almost like basketball, where it right. comes to give the right. offense out of the ball. No, no, no doubt. I mean, that, that's what that's your hope anyway, you yeah. know. And you look at uh, North Dakota last week, you know, it, schematically they, they, you know, they were, uh, you know, they tried, they did a lot of different things, you know. I mean, and brought a lot, a lot of different stunts, and you know, uh, when you know, going back and looking at it, probably. Sh should have stayed a little bit more aggressive towards the end of the ball game there and continue to throw the thing around because I sat here and told you they know they're going to stop the run and the things that they do make it tough to, to run the football. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, like I told Coach Hampy, you know, yeah, we need to be out of timeouts. We need the first down to win the game. And, and you got three plays to get 10 yards. Uh, you got to be able to get those 10 yards, especially with the offense. I don't care what they're doing, stuff wise, especially with the offensive line, the caliber of ours. So, uh, uh, yeah, but to answer your question, yeah, it, 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 uh, that, that familiarity uh, gives you the opportunity to, to get into a pretty good rhythm. There but goes. same thing for them, too, though. Sure. So <laughs> it kind of goes both ways there. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> Was there a concern with the run game? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. Like I said, uh, you know, we, we held up. We held our, did more than hold on versus uh, Ohio State uh, in, that, in that first half. Uh, from a scheme standpoint, what, what they were doing uh, Saturday, it, it, it's tough to run into. And really, a lot of times, the box said throw the football. And really, if you want to know the truth, we probably forced some runs in there when we shouldn't have. We, could have, we should have just probably, you know, we threw it, what, 29, 30 times in the first half. That's one of those games where we should have just thrown it 65, 70 times. You know, uh, but it goes what goes into that is, is that confidence factor. You start throwing those interceptions things that are missing some of those reads and then you, as, a, as a play caller at times um, you, you want to slow the game down a little bit and let your quarterback get the rhythm and, and looking at it if, if we're going to run the system and we're going to you know, be married to it we, we can't do that we got to let them go out and throw five picks and you know that is what it is as I watch you you are cage tiger ready to to pounce every time we ask about how close how close how close it's, I mean, what, can you talk a little bit about this emotion? Yeah, it's it's just me. It's it's frustrating. It, it, no, uh, in, in a good way. That's just me uh, because we we have the talent. Guys have just got to start to believe in themselves and make plays because the plays that are being made, we, you know. Uh, um, and really, when I talk about that, I, in the essence of, of, of this game this week, and I'm talking in the passing game. That's one of those games where we should be sitting out there talking about James Kanaki throwing for 600 yards and breaking the school record. Uh, you know that's that's where that's where this angst comes from. That's where this frustration comes from. But uh, again, we, we have the kids to get it done. Uh, you know they will step up and they will make plays, and we will get to where we want to go. When you're analyzing the we're close, what's the point that's closest? Whether it's making the proper reads, checks, alignments, right. just making plays. What what's closest? What's farthest? Well. You know, as, as, as far as making the proper checks, breaking the proper reads, uh, we, you know, we're, we're moving in the right direction there. I mean, there's a couple of plays we busted, you know, that, that we threw some balls that we shouldn't have thrown. Uh, but, uh, you know, a lot of times we're giving these guys an opportunity to, to make plays. Uh, you know, as, as a, being an aggressive play caller, um, you know, you take, you know, Derek, for instance, we know he was in here today. I talked to him this morning. You know, you call a little hit, the guy's off, you got fourth and four, catch, drop step, get the first down, move the chain. They're tired, we probably go down and score. And sell instead of we catch it at three, we circle back, and we get three and a half yards off the field. So it's just little bitty things like that that, that uh, you know, that, that completely change the rhythm uh, of a ball game. Um, you know, and then, you know, defensively, you hit it on, uh, John, it might have been you, I really don't remember, hit on it earlier. We get it. We get the big sack. We've gotten third and fifteen, and what have you, third and seventeen, and then we give up the big play, and just on little on lack of focus. So again, getting these young kids to understand the importance of each and every play and how it has it makes an unbelievable factor on that ball game. 